in a highly controversial jean trend and the light wash pair is on clearance right now for $12. All right, ladies, get out your bedazzlers because embellished jeans are back. Hello, friends. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am sharing over 20 pairs of Walmart jeans and the price on these jeans are incredible. Most are $30 and under. I think I have one pair that's $34, but everything has a great price and I have designer inspired styles, trendy styles, classic jeans, whatever you are looking for. I feel like Walmart has you covered. So big thank you to Walmart for sponsoring this video. As always, I'm gonna have everything listed below in the description box, as well as over on the pinned comment section. So let's get into it. And for height reference, I'm 5'2", and I do have on all these jeans with this three inch heel. That way we can compare height evenly on everything. And unless I call it out specifically, I believe all these jeans are a size four. Up first is this pair from Time and True. They have a great wash on them. It's kind of on the lighter side of a medium wash. You do have the obvious whiskering, this fade out and it is a wide leg style. This is a 31 inch inseam pair of jeans. So they work great for me with a pair of high heels. But what makes these so special is the pin tuck detail. So what that is, is just a folded seam down the entire leg of the jean. And I've seen versions like this from Nordstrom, Madewell, Anthropology even had a pair that was around $160, I think on sale. So this is a great price on this one. It's $23. Up next, I have the Eden jeans from Sophia. This is a newer style from her denim line and this is a skinny straight style so if you have been holding on to your skinny jeans and you want to venture out just a little bit I think this would be a really good one to try because it does still have a tapered leg I do have this one here in two washes this one here is the medium that does have just a little bit of distressing while the light wash doesn't have any distressing on it at all the website does have this listed as a 30 and a half inch seam I do not think that's true it hits me at about my ankle so I would go off of how it hits me as opposed to the website. These are available in a double zero to size 22. Both washes do have a side slit, which I'm actually gonna get into a whole category of that here in a little bit. The medium wash is just a regular hem while the light wash does have a raw hem. And the light wash pair is on clearance right now for $12. My next pairs of jeans are so universally flattering. They are from Scoop. Scoop is calling this their high rise flare. There are different types of flare. There are the very exaggerated flares. And then there's more of that subtle flair, think more of a boot cut style. That's more of the category of what I would put this pair in. These are only $28. They are both in very dark washes. This one here is a black denim. There is no whiskering, no fading of any kind. It really makes these quite a dressy jean. You can kind of use these interchangeably with a black pant. And then the next color, I think they're calling this one Nighthawk, is just a very, very dark blue denim, but you do have more of that whiskering and it has more of a fade out at the knees. These are going to be a great jean for taller girls. They have a 33 inch inseam and for me to wear these, I would have to be in a serious heel. So I would say definitely that that's accurate. And the silhouette reminds me so much of the Melissa jeans from Sophia, which she has released a coated denim version. They're beautiful for fall. I will list those below. And a lot of times in the summertime, the denim goes ultra light, which we are still seeing light wash denim for the fall and winter season, but we're also starting to see a lot of darker washes pop up from black jeans to just the ultra dark denim. I personally love that look. I think it looks a little bit dressier. So I do have another pair of black jeans. This black pair from Time and True is a crop style. It has a 28 inch inseam and it does have a trendy slit hem. The slit on this one is in the front and it's kind of hard to see since this is a black pair of jeans, but it does have an asymmetrical seam. They look like such a nice pair of jeans. They're only 22 dollars and we're seeing the slit be anywhere they'll be on the front they'll be on the side they'll be on the interior side really anywhere they can put a slit so another option for a side slit jean is this pair from time and true it's under twenty dollars and the difference on this one is that it's more of a faded washed black denim and it's also a longer style so this one does have a 31 inch inseam i got this in the regular and online it's showing that there was a short version i don't think there was it's just an example of sometimes on the walmart website. It can list a tall, short, and a regular, but if you click on it and one of the other options is completely sold out, they probably never actually had it. This for me is a great length for wearing with heels. It also does have a slight, very slight distressing on the pockets. This one's also available in a medium wash and it is more of a flare boot cut style. It is one that is going to look great with your boots this fall. And a major trend going on right now is definitely the baggy jeans. So this is any jean style that is purposeful 
purposefully oversized. Maybe it is puddling at your sneakers or not. It's just anything that has that oversized kind of slouchy look. And Walmart's version of that is the Scoop Slouchy Boyfriend Style Jean, which I think they have appropriately named. These are available in sizes zero to 18. They have great whiskering on them. And this is more of a vintage style wash. It is a boxier oversized fit all the way down on this one. These do have a 30 inch inseam and they're $28. Up next, I have Free Assembly's 90 straight jeans. I have been talking about these for years since they originally launched from Free Assembly. This is just a good straight leg jean. It does taper in a little bit at the bottom as you can see. And the light wash, there's no distressing and this does have a 28 inch inseam. So for me, I typically just throw these on with a pair of sneakers and they hit great. The newer wash that Free Assembly has come out with and this more medium to darker wash. They are calling this the 90s relaxed jean. If you look at the leg, they are exactly the same. So if you were a fan of the light wash version, you will probably like these. The darker wash is definitely a distressed pair. So it does have a raw hem. You've distressing throughout the jeans and then one knocked out knee, which I think the one knee can look very designer regardless of the style. And both of these are $27. And yes, Walmart also has a trouser jean. So I've been seeing this from celebrities. They can be hundreds and hundreds of dollars for more designer brands. These are from Sophia and they're under $28. They're a high rise style with a wider leg and this great true blue denim color. And they are a dressier jean because of those trouser details with the stitching, more of the slit pocket. You do have more of the trouser pocket in the back. And I think these would be great to dress up. You can wear it with a button down, really lean into the fact that these look like a trouser pant, but you're still getting the comfort of being in a pair of denim. And these are really light pair of denim too. Too, so they are great as we are moving into a new season. And another variation of the trouser jean would be pleated jeans. And actually I saw Dakota Johnson recently was in this color denim with a pleated trouser jean. So she was just working all the trends at the same time. So these are from Scoop. They're $28 and they're also in that more vintage wash. You do have two pleats on each side, double buttons, and it is a wide leg style. They also are elastic in the back. And this is definitely a style that's meant to be oversized. However, However, if you are going for more of that tailored jean look, I would consider sizing one down in these. I think this is also a style that would look fantastic with a belt. And yes, Levi jeans are at Walmart. This is what they are calling their modern boot cut, which I'm gonna say is because it is not much of a boot cut. Whenever I have these on, they do look more like a slim straight. I mean, they're kind of something in between and it really doesn't matter how the jeans are fitting, whether they're a tighter style, like how these are, or they're baggy and oversized. We are seeing a lot of slim straight styles. It's just a very wearable jean style. You can throw it on with sneakers, throw it on with some heels. These are under $25 and they are more of a medium wash. And I have another straight style. This one is from Time and True. It's under $17. It has a really nice stretch to it. And this one does have a 29 inch inseam. So it is hitting me a little bit more cropped. The Levi's that I just showed didn't have the inseam listed, but you can tell they are a little bit of a longer style. And it does have this dye detail here at the belt loops, which I do think makes it look a little bit more casual. In general, this is just a go-to everyday type jean. Could have worn this in the summer with some flip flops. I can also to throw it on in the winter with some sneakers and a sweater. And I think this next pair of jeans from Free Assembly looks so special. They do have this very unique front patch pocket detail. You do also have patch pockets in the back. They are a medium wash with no distressing. This is another pair that's something in between a boot cut and a wide leg. And I think it just looks like such a nice pair of jeans, one that you can definitely dress up. And I've seen designer versions go upward of $130, $150 for a very, very similar look, which I do feel like the patch pocket is a little bit of a nod to the cargo trend, which in pants of all kinds, not just jeans, is arguably the number one trend. If you are looking for cargo jeans, I recently did a roundup of a lot of different jean styles that I will link below. We also did an entire blog post breaking down the cargo pant trend with lots of affordable options. I will also put that in the description box, but this is just a great modified version of that where you can have the look without having those bulky cargo pockets. This is just a fantastic pair of 
of jeans and they are under $30. All right, ladies, get out your bedazzlers because embellished jeans are back. And I'm not even talking a little embellished. Some of these jeans have gone all out. I love this pair from Walmart though. I think it is a subtle way that you can wear the trend. It does have this sequin stripe down the seam and it is a washed black style and it's definitely more of a crop style. These I think are only $26. This is a pair of jeans that when you need them, you're gonna be so happy you have them in your closet. I see these for a fun night out, wear them during the holiday season, it would make a great casual New Year's Eve look. I mean, these are just a fun pair of jeans. And a highly controversial jean trend is the cuffed jeans. I would love to know how you guys are feeling about this trend. These jeans can be hundreds of dollars. I saw a pair on Revolve that was upward of $250. Meanwhile, Walmart Scoop is holding it down at $28. And the cuff is permanent on these, so it's sewn that way. There's not even extra fabric underneath. It does have a raw hem. These do have a more medium wash. You have the whiskering here, and it is a distress style. And with the wider leg on these, I really see myself wearing them with taller boots this season, throwing it on with a pair of heels. So I would basically style these how I would a longer denim skirt and Walmart does have another cuffed jean style so these are from time and true they are a distress style so it also has the distressing up here along with one knocked out knee and it has a very small cuff on these which you can uncuff if you want to they do have a 26 inch inseam so these are more of a crop style so definitely more of a casual style and I do really like these but I think I would love them in one maybe even two sizes up that way they had more of that slouchy, oversized boyfriend feel. Next, from Time of True, I do have this high-rise flare pair. And what's cool about these is definitely the wash. I'm not sure it's coming across on screen, but it does have more of that gasoline-colored denim. It is very subtle, though. It does have this really unique double stitching here at the pocket. And it is more of a slender fitting jean. And then it does flare out at the bottom. This one does have a 32-inch inseam. So an inseam that's going to work for a lot of us. For my taller girls, this would be great thrown on with sneakers and these are around $22. And these next couple of pairs definitely fall in the wide leg trend. So I don't want you to get this confused with the baggy trend that we talked about earlier. Just because something is a wide leg, that just means that it continues to go out throughout the entire pant leg of the jean. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's oversized or that it's a slouchy style jean. The first one that I have here is from Scoop. They are calling this a low rise jean. Even though low rise jeans are just becoming more and more popular, I would say this has just a regular rise. They're just not a super high rise jean style. It does have this medium wash and these do have a major raw hem on the bottom. It almost looks just like a tear in the jean. I think these are a really fun trendy pair of jeans for around $28. And this next pair of wide leg jeans are a little bit more of a shout out because there is something wonky going on with the link. They are from Free Assembly and I ordered a pair of jeans and I got a completely different pair of jeans in the mail. These are definitely a newer style so I did still want to share them because I know the link is going to be dropping on these. I think these are a fantastic pair of jeans. So I did get them in the more medium wash. I also picked them up in the dark wash a wide leg style and I do like the seam detail at the hem. So the medium wash I picked up in a regular and the dark wash I have in a short. The regular is very long. I even folds over a little bit at the bottom. So that's going to be a great length for taller girls. While the short definitely works for me, it's one that I can see myself throwing on with a platform sneaker. And I do really like the bottom seam on these. It does make them look a little bit dressier. I will definitely post on the community tab as well as over on my Instagram, which is at Madison style as soon as I see the link drop on these because they are excellent. These are $34. And before we get into my last pair of jeans, I'm going to have today's secret emoji be something super creative. I'm going to have it be a pair of blue jeans. So leave that below in the comment section so I know you stuck it out with me this long. Also, I know I'm going to get questions on the sweater that I have on. So this is a ribbed, very lightweight sweater from Scoop. It does have this fun detail here at the sleeve, this fun slit detail. And I did show the brown one in my last Walmart unboxing. I had so much fun with that video. I'll link it below if you missed it. If you are into fall new arrivals at Walmart, you have to check it out. 
out and this pair of jeans was actually in that video it is a late entry but i was so excited to get my hands on these it is a very subtle barrel jean and barrel jeans have been so popular they're kind of being lumped in with the horseshoe balloon style jeans and all that means is that the denim on the side does go out this pair here from walmart is super super subtle but there are very exaggerated styles i saw one go for twelve hundred dollars Meanwhile, Walmart does have this version for around $20. This pair does have a pleat detail. It is in a lighter wash. And this one actually came cuffed. I prefer this one uncuffed, but either way at the bottom, it definitely tapers. I was just very excited to see such a trendy style at Walmart in general. I think Walmart has done such a good job with all of their denim. And I would love to know below in the comments, what jean styles are you guys looking for, looking forward to wearing? Are you gonna venture out of any of your everyday jean styles? Let me know below in the comments. And if you're interested in any of the pairs that I've showed today, I will have that listed below in the description box. A big thank you to Walmart for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and I will see y'all in the next one.